guys, it's Dan here with Cool Smartphone, Rubber Man Dan, and I'm here in London where I have just got hands on the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. Now this is a phone a lot of people have been interested in, especially over the last couple of months, but it is now official. Uh, I've had a bit of hands on time here up in London. Um, have to excuse me while I read off some of the specs because it's literally just been announced. Um, so we have the phone available in uh, pink gold, midnight blue, emerald green, twilight and black. This is the black version here, which is really, really nice. As you can see, it has the uh, square uh, camera set up on the back now. A uh, slight change to the camera layout from the, the P20 Pro. Um, so you have the dual LED flash. You still keep the 40 megapixel color camera, uh, which is really, really good. It gets those impressive photos we saw on the P20 Pro. Uh, you still have the 8 megapixel telephoto lens but you now have a wide angle camera as well, super wide angle. So that gives you a lot more um, detail in the, in, the, uh, in the photo you're getting. So um, change from the monochrome camera over to the, uh, to the super wide angle. Uh, so it's an interesting move. Um, I personally didn't shoot a lot of monochrome photos anyway, so having a super wide angle will let you get a lot more detail in your photos, a lot more information, so that should be a good uh, good thing for a lot of people. Um, we have on the front a 6.39 inch 2K HDR display, which is really, really bright. It feels great in the hand. Um, it's got curved glass on both sides, on the back and the front. So um, it fits in the hand really nicely. Uh, which is really, really good. Uh, it just feels like a very strong, very sturdy phone. Plus it looks really, really nice with the, uh, the different design for the camera on the back. Um, you'll notice on the front and on the back there is no fingerprint reader anymore. That's because the fingerprint has now been put inside the display. So you now have the option to, when the phone is off, um, you get a little option here, you put your fingerprint on and you unlock your phone. Um, you also have 3D facial recognition now which can unlock your phone as well if you want to do that. Um, I haven't tried that personally myself. I have tried setting up on another device the, uh, the on-screen fingerprint reader which is the first time I've ever used one. I was actually really, really impressed. It's really quick, very reliable, um, so very impressed. Plus it means you don't have to have the, uh, the fingerprint reader anywhere, the sensor. It's just built into the screen, so that's really, really nice. Battery, huge, 4,200 milliamp hours. So massive battery, enough to get you through the day. Um, it also features wireless charging, but with a difference. So the wireless charging on this does reverse wireless charging. So you can pop it down on a, a wireless charging mat and charge the phone, not a problem. Um, but if you've got another device with you, or a friend's device, which is running low on battery that features wireless charging, you can switch on reverse wireless charging in the settings and put the two back to back and you'll charge their phone. So no more needing cables or portable power bricks or anything like that. If they've got a wireless charging compatible phone, you can charge their phone using yours. Um, first time I've seen it on a phone and that's a really, really clever idea actually. Um, especially if you carry multiple devices with you, which I normally do. Um, just being able to tap the phones and charge them is really, really good actually. Um, it has um, wireless protection mode in EMUI 9 now. So if you're interested in plugging the phone into the desktop mode, um, you don't need the HDMI cable anymore. You can now do that wirelessly. So if you're in, into business or you travel around a lot, um, you could be in a hotel or uh, at work. All you need to do is have this and a monitor that supports the wireless standard. And you can now use the keyboard or the mouse if you want to, or just use this as your, your trackpad. Um, and you can use this now as like a little desktop experience, so no cable needed, which is really, really cool. Um, Front-facing camera, 24 megapixel, so really, really good quality front-facing camera. A lot of people use this for Snapchat and selfies and whatever you want to use your front-facing cameras for, really. With the camera setup, um, not only do you have the, the 40 megapixel camera, the super wide angle and the telephoto, this actually now allows for really close up macro photos. So if you're into your close up photography, this is the perfect phone for you. Um, I tried it upstairs with a couple of uh, sample photos of, uh, they had some uh, little butterfly um, things on a, on a stand and you get really close to it, up to 2.5 centimeters now for um, super macro mode. The quality was, 
absolutely amazing. Um, I love taking my night photos, and obviously this does have the night, the, uh, night mode. Um, it also, I also love taking macro photos, and uh, again, this is the perfect phone for that. You can get really up close, 2.5 centimeters, they said in the announcement. Um, and it just looks really, really detailed. You can get super up close uh, and get some really good details in that. So while we are really pushing boundaries with the photography on this phone, if you thought the, the uh, P20 Pro was a good phone, wait till you try this. The camera is amazing and this is only indoors. Uh, I will be getting a review model to do a full review on Core Smartphone shortly. And I'll be doing lots of outdoor photos using this phone. So uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will try and answer them in the full review. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, the new, just announced, Huawei Mate 20 Pro. Um, there is also the Mate 20 and there is also a new watch coming out as well, running a own version of Huawei's OS um, called Light OS. So hopefully I'll be able to get some more information on that soon as well. Um, but yeah, this was a quick hands-on of the Huawei Mate 20 Pro.